and Graham Rahal with a great start. Lungard is being challenged on the inside. Three Hello IndyCar fans, welcome to Formula Punt Racer. Today, this video speaks of the Gallagher GP, which took place on the road course of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway back on the 12th of August. And by God, it was quite eventful. Maybe not as eventful as the Indy 500, but who's keeping track? And the first surprise turned out to be that with the Ray Hall, Lenham, and Lanigan team struggling miserably during the Indy 500 season back in May, it was a stark contrast for them at this round because the team, in fact, end up locking out the whole front row in contrast to the Indy 500. Christian Lundgaard, the Danish butter cookie, started second, while his Graham Cracker of a teammate, Graham Rahal, he took his first pole in six years. So pretty impressive, Graham. So when the green flag flew, well, they both had a good strong start, but a bigger surprise turned out to be Canada's Devlin DeFrancesco of Andretti Autosport, who had his best starting position of fifth in his career so far, would end up snaking around the drivers ahead of him to take the lead on the first corner of the first lap. And it was quite an amazing slingshot, eh? I love it. There'd be more amazing action on this first lap, for at the end of the backstretch, the Chip Ganassi drivers of Polo, Dixon, and Armstrong ended up going bumper car on each other, and Joseph Newgarden, with nowhere else to go in his Penske, ended up flying over, or more like just being pushed up over Armstrong's nose. So, Newgarden was stuck there for a while, and while it took the officials to get his car down so he could get back to the pits, eh, he ended up a lap down. Oh. Pretty unfortunate for this year's Indy 500. Stark contrasts indeed. <laughs> One thing's clear about Joseph Newgarden, if he was planning to get his hopes up for this race to catch up with uh, Polo in the championship, the only thing that went up was his car over top of Marcus Armstrong's. And the fact that it took the officials until lap 8 to get the cars um, back under green conditions is questionable. It shouldn't have taken that long just to disengage Armstrong and Joseph Newgarden's cars from each other. Before, this would indeed cost Newgarden a chance to catch up to Alex Polo, who still leads the championship. The race restarted on lap 8, with Devlin D. Francesco still leading. But the following lap is when Graham Rahal would take the lead back over from the Canadian. And unfortunately for Devlin, he was starting to slip back. And unfortunately, his chances of leading were evaporated. So, tough luck for the Canadian once again, eh? It stinks! Amazingly, despite the fact that the tango that Newgarden and Marcus Armstrong's cars had with each other at the back stretch on the first lap was the only caution period of the race, there were a few other interesting surprises that would take place in this race. For instance, on lap 16, Santino Ferrucci of AJ Foyt had a little tangle literally with his own air hose, costing him dearly in the pits. And as for Sweden's Felix Rosenquist of McLaren, well, he was anything but a quick Claren, as on lap 67, his gearbox had shifted to terminal, so that put him out, and the only retirement of this race, not a good bed of Rosens for Rosenquist, and not very Rosenquick either. <laughs> not very funny. While Graham Rahal had led for the early part of this race, with his Danish butter cookie teammate Lundgaard leading at least seven laps in this race, Scott Dixon, who had spun out, was definitely not out for the count, as he managed to worm his way back up to the lead on lap 27. And throughout the rest of the race, it would be like heavyweight fighters exchanging blows between Ray Hall and Dixon for leading the most laps of the race. Ray Hall would lead 36 laps, and Scott Dixon would lead 34. And for the last few laps, Graham Ray Hall was hot on Scott Dixon's tail, but in the end, the New Zealander was able to take another win, his first win of the season, and the 19th consecutive year he has won at least one race in his IndyCar career. So, once again, Scott Dixon, congratulations with your orange PNC bank cashing in another victory at winning the Indianapolis Motor Speedway Road Course Race, the Gallagher Grand Prix and Graham Rahal would finish second. And despite the fact that Alex Pelot finished seventh in the race, he has increased his championship lead, but not just ahead of Joseph Newgarden, but Scott Dixon, who, with this win in the road course, has moved up into second place behind Pelot. Anything can happen, and in a separate video, 
There's some interesting racing news to tell you about regarding Palos Future with Chip Ganassi Racing and Indy Cars, as well as some other new avenues to carry later. So once again, congratulations to the orange and blue PNC Bank car of Scott Dixon. He just goes to show Indy Car fans that these races are anything but Scott free. Last year's Indy 500 winner, Marcus Erickson, finished a lackluster 10th while his Kiwi teammate Marcus Armstrong, considering that tangle he had with this year's Indy 500 winner Joseph Newgarden, finished 24th two laps down. Leaping legend! <laughs> no doubt about it, Graham Rahal may have been disappointed coming in so close but finishing second, but he kind of blames his uh, friend uh, Ryan Hunter Ray at Ed Carpenter Racing for kind of holding him up when he was already a back marker in Ray Hall's attempts to catch up to Scott Dixon in the closing laps. And the next round is the same day as the Dutch Grand Prix this Sunday at the Worldwide Technology Raceway outside of St. Louis. Oh uh, yes, one of the most popular ovals, the last oval round of the season. If Newgarden can win this, it'll be said that he has won every oval round of this season, Indianapolis 500 included. Well, anything can and will happen at the Worldwide Technology Raceway, or the popularly known as Gateway in the past. Congratulations once again, Scott Dixon, for a phenomenal win at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway Road Course. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please share, comment, like, and subscribe to Formula Pun Racer and click the notification bell to be notified of future postings. And uh, please let me know what you think. Do you think Polo is going to win if some more races as well as the championship? Or do you think that Newgarden is going to win at Gateway? Please let me know in the comments as well. Well, that's all for now. See you in the next video. I'm Aaron Cylinder, firing on all cylinders.